السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله الملك الجبار الواحد القهار وشرب لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما العزيز الغفار وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله المصطفى المختار صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأطهار والأخيار إما بعد Today we have a story for you all This story happens to come in the collections of a Bukhari and Muslim Hadith Prophetic tradition It also happens to come on the authority of Abu Huraira May Allah be pleased In which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he mentions, "Inna falafat min bini Israila abrasa wa akraa wa ahma." There were three individuals amongst the children of Israel. There was a leper, there was a bald man, and there was a blind man. Farabu Allahu in yabtaniyahu, fabaatha ilayhim baraka. So then Allah wanted to test them. So he dispatched an angel out to them. So the angel, it went to the leper. And of course, when we say the leper, we're speaking about the ailment called leprosy. 
We don't see it so often anymore, but it is a severe skin condition that harms the body to the point that you even can begin to look physically deformed. He goes to the leper, and the angel says to the leper, Hey, you shame the hebu ilayk. What of all things is most beloved to you? So imagine this. Imagine Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, Allah the best of the exalt, sent an angel from the heavens to you specifically. The honor that is in there. And furthermore, this means that Allah has decreed for you to have this interaction with this angel, and this angel is asking you, what of all things in the world do you want most? Meaning what? You got a guaranteed dua. If you had one dua, and you knew that whatever you ask for, your Lord will respond to you, and in fact, he sent an angel down to you for that purpose, what would you ask for? That's the situation of this leper. So what did he say? He states, I would like to have good skin and a fine complexion so that this thing that causes the people to have an aversion for me would leave. For Mesahahu. So the angel went over him. For the Habahu And then that thing that caused the people to have an aversion for him, it left him. For Uhtiya, Lodin Hasana. So then he was granted good skin and a fine complexion. Kala the angel man ahabu ilayk. The angel then says to him, what of all wealth, what of all property, what of all assets is most beloved to you? Now you don't have one guaranteed dua, now you got two when you thought you had one. So what are you going to ask for next when the thing you desire most, Allah gave that already to you in an instant. He states an ibn. He says, camels. So then he was granted, not just a camel, he was granted a pregnant she camel. So then the angel says to him, Barakallahu laka fiha. May Allah bless you. Therein. So then the angel goes to the bald man. And he says to him, Qala, hey, you He says, what of all things is most beloved to you? What does the bald man say? The bald man says, Sha'arun, Hasanun, anni anabi qad qadrini nasu bi. The bald man says, I would like to have good hair. And for this thing to leave me that causes the people to have an aversion for me. For Masahahu, so the name to wipe over him, for Tia, Sha'aran Hasana, and then he was granted fine hair. He was granted the best of hair. The angel then says to him, What of all wealth is most beloved to you? He says, cows. For Uhtiya So then he's granted not just a cow, but a pregnant cow. The angel then says to him, Barakallahu laka fiha. May Allah bless you. Therein. So then he goes to the blind man. And he says to the blind man, Ay you shayin the habuni lake. What of all things is most beloved to you? The blind man says. 
بصري فقو بصير به الناس for Allah to return my sight back to me so that I can see the people with that sight فمسحهم so then the age went over him فرقت الله إليه بصره so then Allah returned his sight back to him then you have the second question قال فيلنا لحق إليك what of all wealth do you want the most? قال الغنم it's a sheep فأعطي شاة والدا so then he's granted a pregnancy فأنتج هذاني وولد هذا فكان لهذا واد من الإبن ولهذا واد من البخر ولهذا واد من الغنم so then these two begin to give birth and that one drops its load to the point that this one now has an entire valley of cows. That one has an entire valley of cows and this one has an entire valley of sheep. فَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا So I share these words of mine. وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ And I seek forgiveness myself as well as for you all. فَاسْتَغْفِرُهُ So seek his forgiveness. إِنُّهُ هُوَ غَفُرُ وَحِيمٌ Certainly he is off forgiving. Most merciful. الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعد إما بعد ثم إنه أتى الأبرص في صورته وهيئته so now after all of this the angel goes back he goes back to the leper but now he goes to the leper in the form that the leper once was so he goes to the leper as a leper. And he says to the leper, who is now healed and looks beautiful and has all this money, Rajun, miskinun, wabinu, sabilin, wa qad an qata'at bin al ibadah fi safri. He says, I'm a, I'm a poor man, I'm a needy man. I'm kind of out of place here on my travels and I don't have much to help me keep going. فَلَا بَلَاجَ لِيَ الْيَوْمْ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ ثُمَّ بِكَ And there is no one who can help me today except for Allah. And then after Allah, you. أَسْأَلُكَ بِالَّذِي أَعْطَاكَ اللَّوْنَ الْحَسِنِ وَالْجِلْدَ الْحَسِنِ والماء بعيرا أتبلغ به في سفري. I ask you by the one that has granted you such beautiful skin and a fine complexion for one camel so that it can aid me on my travels. What would you say after the law did all this for you? Now someone's asking you for something. In fact, you're being asked for something that ain't even going to hurt you that much. Got a whole valley of them, right? What does he say? قَالَ الْحُقُوقَ كَثِيرًا I got a lot of stuff I got to do. I got a lot of responsibilities. I got a lot of things I got to take care of. The angel then says, كَإِنِّي أَعْلِفُ كَعْلِ It's as if I know you. أَلَمْ تَكُنْ أَبْرَسْ يَقْذَلَكِ النَّاسِ فَقِيرًا didn't you used to be a leper? The people had an aversion towards you. They didn't even want to be around you. Didn't you used to be poor? But talk to Paul who has a little now. And then Allah gave you all of this wealth and property, all these assets you done piled up. What was you say? Being called out. <laughs> Call. So he says. إنما ورث تو هذا كابيرا عن كابيرا. he said no 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 this been in my family for generations. so then the angel said to him إن كنت كابيرا فسيرك الله إلى ما كنت. 
If you are lying, then may Allah return you back to the state that you were once in. Then he goes to the poor man. So then he goes to the bald man. He says the same thing to the bald man that he said to the leper. And the bald man gave the same response that the leper gave. So then the angel says to him, In kunta kunta. If you are lying, then may Allah return you back to the state that you were once in. ثُمَّ إِنَّهُ أَتَى الْأَحْمَى فِي صُورَةِ Then he goes to the blind man in the form that he once was. And he says to him, رَجُلٌ مِسْكِينٌ وَبَلٌ سَبِيلٌ قَدْ أَنْقَتَعْتْ بِهِ الْهِبَالٌ فِي سَفْرِ I'm a poor man. I've lost all of my belongings. And I'm out here on my travels without anything to help me get on by. Asaluka billadi radda ilayka basaraka shatin ataballahu biha fi safri. He says to him that by the one who has given you this sight, return it back to you. I ask you for one sheep that can assist me on my travels. And in fact, he said right before that, فَلَا بَلَاغَ لِي الْيَوْمِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ ثُمَّ بِكَ And there is no one who can help me today except for Allah, and then after Allah, you. The blind man, he says, قَدْ كُنْتُ أَحْمَى فَرَضَ اللَّهُ إِلَيَّ بَصْرِي I used to be blind, and then Allah returned my sight back to me. فَخُذْ مَا شِئْتَ وَدَعْ مَا شِئْتَ فَلَا أَجْهَرَكَ يَوْمْ شَيْئًا أَخَذْتَهُ بِاللَّهِ He then said to him, yes, I used to be blind. And Allah returned my sight back to me. So take whatever you want from my wealth and leave whatever you want from my wealth for I will not stop you today from anything that you are taking for the sake of Allah. The angel then says to him, insik mal, keep all your wealth, keep it. It is only that you all were being tested. And Allah is pleased with you, and He is quite displeased with your two companions. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story, it is one of shukr. The moral of the story, It is one of gratitude for the blessings that your Lord has provided for you. The nature of us as human beings, we want the things that we don't have. And then the very thing we used to want that we don't have, when Allah gives that to us, well, we don't want it anymore because we already got it. We don't value it the same way that we used to. Now we're looking on to something else that we want and not being grateful for the blessings that we have. The moral of the story here is that gratitude, in fact, to be grateful to Allah, in fact, is to take the blessing that Allah has provided for you and everything that we have is a blessing from Allah. To take the blessing Allah has provided for you and then utilize it to increase in obedience to Allah. You do that, Allah will increase you in even more blessings. <clears throat> If you all are grateful, then I'm going to increase your blessings. 
But we can invert that, that equation as well. If you take the blessings of Allah that he has granted you and the same blessing that he gave you, you utilize it to disobey him with it, well then now you are being ungrateful. And now you may very well be a reason for your own blessings to be taken away from you or future blessings to cease coming to you. So then where would I be? Where would you be without the mercy of Allah? Where will we be without the favor of Allah? Where will we be about the blessing of Allah? So then I challenge us today to review our own lives, to review the blessings that exist in your life, even if it's the beating of your heart that you don't even think about until the stop. Think about all these blessings and then think about how can I utilize these blessings to increase in obedience to Allah so that Allah can then give me more blessings. And what is it that I have been ungrateful for in my life to Allah? So I can acknowledge that and then begin being grateful to Allah for that blessing. So then perhaps whatever blessing has halted in my life or whatever blessing I'm seeking to attain in my life, I can get out of my own way and receive the mercy and the favor of Allah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatin wa fi al-akhirati hasanatin wa qina adab al-nar Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin kama sulayta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidu majid wa qina salat Wait, don't go anywhere yet. I appreciate you getting to the end of the video. I have a question for you. Do you have a desire in you to become a student of knowledge? Have you wanted to travel overseas or even get into an Islamic university? Maybe even the Islamic University of Medina, but things didn't pan out for you. Maybe you wanted to learn the Arabic language, you learned some or, or, or none at all, and you just don't have the access that you need to get to the path of knowledge. Well, I have a gift for you. We have put together a program for you where we give you the experience that we had in the Islamic University of Medina, the actual courses in the Islamic University of Medina, remove all the barriers and just give you the experience. You don't have to know Arabic, you don't have to travel overseas, you don't have to get accepted in university. We are calling it the Medina Student Boot Camp. We give you that and so much more. If this sounds like you, click the link below. See you on the other side.